wiener, 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 w
Yeah, but uh, I want to put Dark Side on that. He said that he no. had more ideas, but I think they didn't. I'm, they didn't let him do it. Or I'm something sure like the that. studio had. I, I'm pretty sure he had a great movie under all that, but the studio pressure was just like, no, you need to put this in, you need to put that in, you need to start Justice League. But I'm sure he just wanted to make a Batman movie. It looked mm-hmm. like it. But the problem is, uh, most of the last, the latest Zack Snyder movies are terrible. Like I, I don't think in the last ten years I've seen a Zack Snyder's movie good other than Three Hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Men of Steel. He doesn't I have. Like he it. doesn't have a great track record. Track record with superhero movies. Yeah. He look, tries. Look at, look at Watchmen. It was nothing oh. but slow motion. I'm and glad a, this was. This is was it all just slow motion. And <laughs> a giant blue naked guy. And a giant blue penis staring <laughs> you in the face. <laughs> Can you imagine that in three D? Like whoa. <laughs> Oh my Lee. eye! <laughs> ah, in the eye. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ben Affleck actually came out and said that he had a lot of ideas for the movie. Like, we sh- maybe we can do this, maybe we can try that, and and they said, yeah, 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 we'll we'll do it later. And they didn't let him do it. Like he felt like he couldn't done better, and they didn't let him. They didn't allow him to change anything, because all Warner wanted is just to put a movie out. Now, Batman was good. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are saying that Ben Affleck is the best Batman. Uh, uh, I'm not 100% agree with that, but I'm yeah. not going to say that he was bad. In his own it right. It was a good Batman. In his own right, he is a good yes, Batman. Yes, it was a very good Batman. But the thing that people were most negative about was Batman killing. Okay. Well, that Yeah, okay. Yeah, that threw me off a little bit, too. Yeah, but if you remember the 1989 Batman, Michael Keaton, he was straight out killing people. He was shoving bombs on people's pants. He had 50 cal machine guns. That's because Michael King doesn't <laughs> give a fuck, though. Yeah, he was throwing people. He threw the Joker he off the roof. He threw the Joker. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah he yeah, may yeah. not have died, but, you know, <laughs> still, you know, uh, they praise him as being one of the best Batmans ever. Oh, yeah. But mm-hmm. they give this Batman shit for doing almost the same exact thing. Well, he and used then, his guns. That's why. And then they're still saying that Christian Bale is the best Batman. Um, I don't like the Dark Knight. I have to be honest. Uh, uh, Batman Beginnings. He was both. He was, he was Bruce Wayne and before Batman. the cancer throat. Before he started trying to audition for the next Death Clock album. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know he he was he was great. And then he started getting that cancer throat, and then he started doing, <laughs> well, he started losing weight again. Huh. Like he wasn't filling out the Batman suit as he should have. It was a very skinny Batman. Yeah. Well, not the first one. Batman Begins. He 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 was muscular. Yeah. He was built, but then he lost like. 30 pounds in the next movie, I think. Because of the cancer throat. Probably. <laughs> I like the, the meme from the third movie when he's on the microphone. He's like, no, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, um, but that mm. movie, this, is, this movie is the vegetables before the meat, mm-hmm. which it should have been the other way around. Exactly. I feel like they were doing really good with the Batman side. Adding the Superman was really good, but then they mix too much and they just they just fucked up i mean i'm sure Zack snyder wasn't the one sitting at a fucking monitor table going superman batman momoa face aquaman you know he wasn't doing all that yeah uh, uh, we can't say that it's Zack, yeah. it's Zack snyder's fault no we can't say that but uh he has to take some the of dark them. they put a lot of dark knight on yeah. it oh, which yeah. was awesome the dark knight comic book not the the movie dark but knight returns actually dark knight returns my bad they put Dark Knight Returns on it, which was awesome. Yeah. They put some Superman, old classic Superman, which was good. But then adding the death of Superman. In the same movie that you're trying to start Dawn of Justice? Exactly. It's like, as I was talking to Robert the other day, it's like if you uh, make a, a game, you start the game with Earthbound, you follow the game by Shinobi, and then you finish the game with E.T. for the Atari 2600. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes no sense. Nope. It was, I mean... Batman, I mean, the death of Superman was the recession of comic book industry. Like, they needed everybody in the mm-hmm. Justice League to mourn his death, not just Wonder Woman, Lois Lane, and Batman. I would have preferred seeing the death of Superman on Superman 2 or Man of Steel 2. Technically, this, this is, they're saying it's Man of Steel It's too. Man of Steel 2, but, but yeah. Or Justice League, the second Justice League movie after they, you know, mm-hmm. they built up everything to where they had a strong enough friendship to feel that that mourn to feel mm-hmm. that loss the fight that they created for batman versus superman it was didn't well, make sense at all it was just you're a vigilante 
you, I need your help, but I'm going to fight you before <laughs> I get your help. No, I was like, help me. No. Help me. No. Help me. No. I'm going to get the shit out of you now. Martha. Like, why? Why did you say that name? <laughs> I know. We have the same mom. High five. <laughs> Our mothers have the same name. High what is five, this? Carson is humanity. <laughs> it, it didn't make sense. And then another scene that everyone is like, "Ooh, there was a sexy scene and everything." The bathtub at the beginning of the movie with Lewis Lane and Superman. Oh, that was unnecessary. Yeah, it was. I didn't, I didn't really enjoy that too much. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was like they didn't even look like a couple. It was just like, oh, here's it, flowers it looked, for it, you. It felt forced. Want to have sex? Sure. Eh. Why not? You're here. Super sex. And if <laughs> well, I'm Superman. You don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but true. it's funny that they give Batman all the shit for, like, you know, killing, using guns, blah, blah, blah. But that guy in wherever they were, when he mm. pushed them, like, through walls, that guy is putty. <laughs> Superman uh, murdered a guy in the first, like, 15 minutes of that movie. Yep. Yep. He snapped the neck of uh, Saad. Yeah. I mean, that one actually, it, it made more sense because Zod wasn't going to stop. Yeah. He couldn't just throw him in the Phantom Zone. He didn't know how. So instead, it, I, I mean, Zod committed suicide by cop. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. This is, oh, you're holding a gun to Lois Lane. I could probably stop that or laser your arm off. But no, I'm going to shove you through. I'm going to go through the speed of sound through you into like four of the walls. <laughs> yeah. Just because I'm pissed. He wants to show off. <laughs> Lois is here. I, I need to get her wet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there were a few things that it kind of threw me off. It was like, why? This doesn't make sense. For example, a big ass UFO in the middle of Manhattan. Well, not Manhattan, but what was? Yeah, uh, uh, in um, Metropolis. Metropolis. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, yeah. Let's have a radioactive ship in the middle of the ocean just covered by warehouse yeah superman could have just <laughs> threw it into the sun or put take it back to the atlantic hey uh, superman says you're our god you think you can grab this and i like, put it somewhere else nah. <laughs> nah and then another thing when dark side uh, i'm sorry doomsday uh is fighting with superman in space it's like oh well we need to get rid of him maybe we can throw it to the sun no 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 just throw him on an island that is between metropolis and gotham so we can all get in there in time okay yeah that sounds good like yeah. what the fuck it, it felt like uh, they just ri written as they went. Yeah. Wonder Woman uh, surprised me a lot. She was, honestly, besides, you know, Batman, she was the best out of that movie. At the beginning, they kind of introduced her like a Black Widow, like a spy, like going for the flash drives yeah. and disappear and going to the parties, like that. And then at the end, she just show up all badass and stuff. But answer me this. Any scene from that movie, tell me that that wasn't in any of the trailers. They were all there. Everything was in there. Yeah, I, I just wish, like, they should have left her for, as a surprise. Like, well, at least in the last trailer when uh, Superman looks at Batman and says, I, is she with you? And Batman just goes, I thought she was you. We could have went, like, who? We would have been more excited for exactly. it. Exactly. <clears throat> but no, this is the trend with all these stupid commercials. Uh, with all the trailers, movies. Not trailers. Just... I know, yeah, they're giving away way too much. Same thing with Civil War. They're already giving away too much about Spider-Man. It's like they're not confident with their no. movies, so they just have to push it. They just have to give you 45 minutes of the movie in trailers. Yeah. And the movie's like 60 minutes. <laughs> I mean, it's super, it's super bad. <laughs> but, okay, just to, to close this down, because now this can be going for hours yeah. oh, and yeah, hours. Uh, the Batman vs. Superman movie was okay. It could have been way better. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to wait and see what happens with the next movies, which now we don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if you guys heard what's going on right now. Yeah, uh, the director from Flash uh, left. Yeah. Um, probably the director from Aquaman is gonna leave as well. I, I think it's I think it's studio pressure. They were just like, I, I don't want to deal with your shit, so I'm leaving. Yeah. Get somebody else. See, Marvel and Disney did it right. Mm -hmm. They they kind of get they've been putting a little pressure on them nowadays, but I think after Deadpool, they're just like, okay, we're we're gonna give you a little more free range. Okay. Deadpool hopefully, was so good. hopefully that happens. Mm -hmm. Not just like, no, we need fan service. We need. We need you to introduce more characters. We need you to put, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. Not just... Because I'm sure if every one of these directors directed a movie they wanted to, they'd be amazing. Ben Affleck wants to do the Batman movie. Again. Yeah. And he, most... he wants to direct it and star yes. which would be great. He's a good director. He, he is a good he, director. He's a really good director. And he has the support of Kevin Smith. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's so, it. like, God. I would love to see a Batman movie made by those two guys. Yeah. Because Kevin Smith loves comic books to the dead. Like... Yes. He's a 
he's involved in everything. I mean, he made a Flash episode, yep. which was super cool, with Jason Mewes on it. Which is, I can't <laughs> wait to see that episode. And um, Ben Affleck, it's been growing up. Like, uh, people hate him for Daredevil. By the way, if you don't like Daredevil, watch the director's cut. It's way better. That or just watch the new Daredevil. The, oh, watch the, the new Daredevil. The Netflix. <laughs> on Netflix. It's a, it's well, amazing. that one's good, It's too. an amazing show. No, but I'm talking about Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Oh. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would love to see that. Warner needs to give the freedom to the writers, to the directors, not just to, like, put something in a blender and just throw it in the movie. Yeah. Because they messed up before. Yeah. This is not the first, uh, in quotation, Superman movie that they screwed up. Mm-hmm. So they need to be patient Superman and start four. slow. Search for peace. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Superman Returns. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I don't know. And anyways, we'll wait until the next movie comes out. Um, another thing, we are like a week uh, before Captain America Civil War. Yeah. Yay. Pretty excited. <clears throat> More like Super Civil Brawl. <laughs> it, it, it's sad that that's becoming bigger than the Avengers. Yeah. Like we're actually waiting like before... Uh, before Infinity uh, War? No, 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 no. Before Age of Ultron came out, we, mm-hmm. we were waiting. We were like, well, we were more excited for Civil War being announced yep. than we were for Age of Ultron. Yeah. I thought that Civil War was going to be the Avengers, the next Avengers movie. It should have. It should have. It, but I, it wouldn't have more characters, maybe. Yeah, it would have had Thor yeah. and Hulk in it. Well, Thor is not on the Civil War at all. I mean, he was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He left. And Hulk, at that time, he was in space. Yeah, he was uh, at Planet uh, Scar. I, I believe so. I'm yeah. not 100% sure of that. Um, but they're trying to do their best. It's not uh, Disney's fault that they can have more characters. It's actually like many companies bought the copyrights Fox, before this something. wasn't even thought. It wasn't even in their minds. Yep. Uh, it's nice that at least uh, Sony is working with um, Disney now. So, I think... I- with uh, them being flexible with Spider-Man, I think mm-hmm. I'm hoping they'll be flexible with X-Men. Fantastic Four hopefully being released and going to go back to Mother Base. And, they, you know, it and did already, so we just have to wait until 2020, I believe. I think that was announced. Yeah, yeah the next Fantastic Four is on and hopefully 2020. They do, they do it justice. Yeah. Cause it, uh, this just one, follow the story. The Fantastic sorry, Four story is amazing. Just I, follow I, it. I enjoyed more the, the first two... Uh, Fantastic Four movies, which were shit, but they were no, more entertaining. Actually, no, 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 not the eighties Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> the newer that, ones that, that came like, out, like uh, the mid, the two thousands, the two thousands yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah, I enjoyed those more than this one. This one was like the oh. first one was fun. What? I actually have to be honest, <sighs> I never finished seeing the second one. Don't just because <laughs> I'm scared of seeing Galactus. Is that the it, silver it, no, surfer one? No, it's just a big fucking cloud. <laughs> <laughs> See, even worse. Yeah. Now, now you tell me. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers. Galactus is my favorite character, and I don't want to see just like a shitty version of him on the screen. So I'm like, nope, nope, nope. You have to do you have to do these characters justice because comic book nerds, fans were were. I mean, how crazy would it be to see a big ass Galactus? I will, I will shit my pants. Like, oh my god. Yeah, and if they brought in the mm-hmm. Celestials at the same time, that'd the be Watcher, cool. Watu, yeah, that would be great. Ah, that would be so cool. Uh, but yeah, Captain America's coming out. I hate, like, just we were talking about it on, on the Batman vs. Superman. I hate that on the trailers, on the teasers, they're showing up way too much. Yep. I haven't seen it. I'm trying to avoid him, but I saw a picture when Spider-Man is holding uh, Winter Soldier's arm. Yeah. And I'm like, really? You need to show that? You just show us a Spider-Man. That's it. Yeah. You don't even have to show yeah. a Spider-Man. That trailer y- would have been awesome yeah. if you just see the spider web yeah. and grabbing the shield. Done. You didn't even have to show anything else. Yeah. I was excited in that moment already. But they're throwing out so much stuff that all you see in between is just little short pads. Okay, let's go here. Oh, like, that happened in the trailer. Punch someone. Oh, that happened in the trailer. You're, you're giving like, away the twists in every movie. Like, they're giving away, like, Terminator Genesis. They give away the best twist that that movie could have had. Mm-hmm. It could have been an amazing movie, not just a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. That would. Yep. It, it killed Khaleesi's. Um, or Amelia Clark, her, yeah. her, her movie career. <laughs> Ouch. I'm but sure. I don't know. Like, I think I avoided all the spoilers and teasers from The Force Awakens. But I assure you, if I grab every single teaser, I would probably have half of the movie. Yeah, probably. I think the only thing that I didn't see on the actual movie uh, was Luke. That's it. Because they yeah. show when they give you the lightsaber. They show when they take the they, uh, they just show the Death Star. Not the Death Star, the Millennium Falcon. The hand. The hand. The hand on R2. 
You know, mm-hmm. it was during the video. They show the, the new Death Star called Star Killer and stuff. Um, so they show way too much. So they need to stop that. If you're confident with your movie, give us three trailers as it used to be, and we'll wait for the movie. And save the twist for later. And save the twist. Save the twist for movies. Yeah, don't give out the best parts in the trailers. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, th- but the way that these studios are releasing the trailers, it shows that they don't have confidence in it, that mm-hmm. they have to build hype. Yeah. Well, you announce a movie and you tell us, okay, these characters are going to be here. Uh, Spider-Man's going to be in the movie. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see him yeah. on the movie, not on a tiny TV, not on my laptop. I want to see him on the phone. big screen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They need to stop that. But after all, I'm super excited for the movie. And I'm super excited that now, since Spider-Man is working with Disney, we're going to see Iron Man on the new Spider-Man yeah. Homecoming. Oh, nice. But this is showing the flexibility between the two companies. Exactly. Sony wouldn't make as much money by itself. That's for sure. Now that it's working together with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is the biggest universe right now, they're going to make shit ton of money. I'm hoping that they'll be able to bring in um, Fox. Mm-hmm. Into it. We're waiting for Fox. If Fox joins Disney, Warner is going to take a long ass time to catch up with it. We, if they do. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> could. And then if they actually, you know, agreed to this beforehand, we would have a way better Civil War movie because we would have the X Men. We'd have Fantastic Four. We would have. Who knows if we wouldn't have an Illuminati movie before the Civil War? Yeah. Just like it happened. Yeah, Can you imagine that first scene on the Baxter's building with all yeah. the Marvel characters and then the Watcher crying on the top because he knows what's going to happen? I'm like, yeah. oh my god, that would have been so yeah, cool. That would have been amazing. Spoilers, sorry. But, but no, they, <laughs> you know, they they want their own personal greed and they don't yeah. see the bigger benefit of doing that kind of thing. I'm actually excited what uh, Stanley is gonna do in this movie. <laughs> he is the Watcher. <laughs> That'd be that actually makes sense. Yeah. Because he's always in everything. He's always on, on the movie, so he's always there. Especially in Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> God, I love the movie. They yeah. need to put Deadpool on the Disney universe, but yeah. I know it's not going to happen because the way they're doing Deadpool is fantastic. Yeah. They need and to... if he goes to Disney, they're going to have to cut a lot of that. Yeah. And then we might get in a rated R Wolverine movie. Hey, can yeah, you imagine yeah. that rated R Disney Marvel movie? I, I would hope that they do a rated R X-Force movie. You know what I'm waiting? To see if Spider-Man and Deadpool happens. I don't know. I don't think they can. Spider-Man's too ingrained with kids. Yeah. But that's why. They can bring it to Fox. Like, Deadpool is kind of... It's with the old... Like, the older... Like, my son, my nine-year-old son, mm-hmm. knows about Deadpool. But he doesn't know how raunchy he is. He just exactly. knows what the TV, the TV show had him. Yeah, most of the people uh, now likes Deadpool because he's cheesy, he's funny, yeah. and stuff. But... The reason I love Deadpool is because he doesn't give a shit about anything. Yeah. He just goes and kills people. He doesn't he give a shit and, and he has ADD. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll wait for um, Civil Brawl. Um, we'll talk about it more next week after it happens. Yep. Critiques, uh, everything. With great power but, comes uh, great um, responsibility. The way I wonder if they're going to say that. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure in Homecoming, though, there'll be a mention of it. Yeah. But uh, in, uh, as great as Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier was, I'm sure Civil War would be just as good. Yeah. I'm hoping not. I'm excited know. for Black Panther. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. He looks amazing. The costume looks amazing. Uh, that's one of the best costumes that and, Marvel has done so far. And they got a great actor for it. Yes. You know, he, he's a really... I like the Spider-Man he suit. He fits it. Because it reminds me a lot of the 80s Spider-Man the and the age. Japanese Spider-Man. The Golden Age uh, Spider-Man. Exactly. And that's why I love the new logo, because it's just like the classic yeah. one. The Homecoming name, like, we don't know the plot yet, so I can't say that I like it or not. I mean, they're already uh, establishing that Spider-Man has been around. Like, yeah. This is Spider-Man, it's, a, it's on high school, so Homecoming kind of makes sense. I'm assuming that Uncle Ben is dead. <laughs> we don't know. I guess... I well, hated the one from the Mason Spider Man. Yeah, that was that was bullshit. Yeah, Uncle Ben and Aunt May was awful. But but, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see, see what happens. All right, moving up to games, video games. The PS4 Neo. We are getting a new yeah. PS4. PS4. Why? <laughs> we don't know. PS4. Well, it's PS4 Neo. They announced it official. Well, well that's the like the code name. Yeah, that's what they call it. it it's right not now. a new. I don't think it's a new console. It's pretty much the, like the. Slim. I'm pretty sure they're just beefing up the... Well, from what I read, it's going to be beefing up the specs. Yeah, well, they say just, it's not a console. Just a slight. Just, no, just like slight it, it's enabling the 4K feature. Yeah, yeah I thought uh, I had 4K already. No, 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 no. 
It, doesn't, no. it only had a, I think it had optimized 10 MVP, 1440, yes. I think. And mm-hmm. supposedly 30 frames per second, but if you actually look at it, it's not. <laughs> but here's mm-hmm. the thing, though. A it's better than the Xbox One. But yeah, but I don't see why yeah. they're making a whole new like system for it. Just like well, just re- graphics. It's not a I don't, whole I wouldn't really new system. See no, the it's, it's not a whole new system. It's, it's, a, it, oh, it's yeah. a reinvented. It's like if you actually go back to the PS3, they went balls out on that first system. They did. And then the second, like the uh, second generation of the same system, this is what this is. Mm-hmm. They're actually having, I mean, smaller parts, cheaper parts, cooler parts. Not as in uh, aesthetic. It's uh, to keep the thing from overheating yes and adding in new features like uh, well not new not it's just a minor touch just it's, a, it's a touch up. yeah it's, it's just a yeah. touch up like for example the playstation 4 has 1.6 gigahertz uh the ps4 neo is going to have 2.1 yep. gigahertz it goes from uh the gpu which is the graphics it goes from 18 radian uh to 16 and the gigahertz goes from 800 to 911 megahertz which means uh you will have a better frame rate which is like the main reason that w- they said they wanted to improve it because it's going to 4K. You're going to see more glitches. Oh, yeah. You're going to see. So that's why they need a little bit more power. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to get one because I know that the PlayStation, the regular PlayStation 4 is going to go lower price. Yeah. So I'm just going to get that one. Yeah. Get I'm, one I'm sure GameStop will have that. I was kind of happy for it. There's not going to be games exclusive for it, too. So. No, no. They, was, they, people, are, people are already dropping four or $500 on the original console. I mean, do I agree with this this business practice? So, I mean, it, it'll make the current gen cheaper in the long run. Of course, when Sony does something, Microsoft always will go and try something a little bit further. Yeah. So, as far as I hear, I don't know if it was official or not, but Microsoft is showing a new Xbox One at E3 and a new controller. A new controller? They have already the Xbox One controller 2, which is the one with the regular uh, plug for headphones yeah. because the original one had a stupid USB. Yeah. <laughs> it was which, dumb. Do you, you have, ever get the adapter for that? I have the adapter now. Oh. So I'm Just like Microsoft, making you spend more money yeah, for stuff yeah. you don't really need. Yeah, that's Bill Gates for you, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> Great business God. practice, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Anyways. But it's better um, than spending, dropping like $800 on a computer. Right. I'll, I'll drop two bucks. Well, bucks. In, in the in the long run, PC is actually the way to go. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yes, it's a PC. It it's a big it's a big go. ticket price, but <laughs> it's worth it. In a couple of years, all you have to do is upgrade the little parts yeah, here and there. Graphics card, and RAM. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I'm not that deep of a gamer. I mean, I have my laptop to do my schoolwork, maybe upload some videos, you know, whatnot. But mm-hmm. hub. I don't need a God box. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay playing console. I, I enjoy playing my console. I know. I, I know. I'm a dirty casual. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love my system. But you know, I have three kids. I can't be devoted <laughs> yeah. to, to gaming. Well, go go away, Timmy. I'm playing my. I'm playing on my computer. My dad, I need mm-hmm. to get over Fine, here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the um, <laughs> There's a lot of people that they're saying that this might be the last generation, the last console generation, because maybe by the next generation, uh, we're just gonna get a system that is interchangeable. I'd agree with that. It will be cool. Uh, you can change your RAM. You can change your uh, CPU, GPU, and stuff. But here's the thing. When that started, it's going to be more expensive because some games will n- need special requirements yeah. for it. <clears throat> yeah, at that point, I might just, just go and get a PC then mm-hmm. if it's just going to go that route. Yeah. Or Nintendo 64 and just get the expansion. Pack. Nintendo 64! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, there was a... Wasn't there a PC game? A PS1 game that needed, like, Special requirements? Uh, I don't remember. No, that I remember. I know there was a Sega Saturn. You know, mm. God knows how many. Uh, oh God, the Sega Saturn every- that you you need the the memory RAM expansion yeah. oh, port. God. God damn it! Shit. Yeah, or even just the the Nintendo 3DS that you need to spend the extra thumb pad. Oh yeah, Monster for, Hunter for like two games you need a, you, for on the new 3DS. Yeah, well the new 3DS is awesome because it has it's faster and it's. It's awesome. I like the new 3DS, I but li- I'm a Nintendo fan. That's I do why. like on the new 3DS, the um, the insert for the card is on the bottom. Oh, yeah, the card is at the bottom. Every single time I see a 3DS, it's just like, fuck. Yeah, every time. <laughs> I'm like, I close it. Okay, I'm going to play this later. I put it out of my pocket, and the cartridge is halfway. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> you need to tape it. 
But yeah, we'll see what happens with the PS4 Neo and the Xbox One Mini. Let's just call them like that right now. Um, we'll talk about more in the future. So something I want to bring up on the before the next topic. I mm -hmm. probably know people have probably talked about this before, but Amazon Prime withholding games for only Prime members. That's oh, that's right. Bullshit. Yeah, that that, 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 first time I heard that, I was pissed. No. Yeah, that that because not everybody can afford Prime. Right. Yeah. yeah right. It's, like, it's seventy five dollars a year. Yeah. Well, hundred dollars or whatever a month. Yeah. Oh, it's a hundred now. Yes. Well, isn't it a, a, every year? It's, yeah, it's a yearly. Yeah, it's yearly. Yeah, that, that's bullshit. I'm sorry. Yeah. You you can't do that to people. With all the games, just because of that nonsense. Mm hmm. No. Because if people are willing to dish out the money for that, yeah, make them pay shipping and handling, mm -hmm. but don't withheld them. Yeah. Oh, so you want this 120 uh, limited edition thing? Well, you have to pay $75 extra yeah. to get it. Yeah, yeah, you guys can go fuck yourselves, okay? <laughs> yeah. And sometimes the exclusives that Amazon gets is just different colors. Yeah. What just different mean? colors, different cases and stuff. Like, oh, for yeah. example, the Retro Freak, the new uh, multiple uh, retro system in one. Yes. Amazon has an exclusive one, which is, I believe, is like $50 more. And what's uh, special about it? It's burgundy. Burgundy? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's exclusive. It's burgundy, and the regular one is white. And like, Yeah, you're paying $75 for that. Uh, <laughs> I could just get it painted myself. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that shit. It's yeah. stupid. I um, mean, I'm sorry. Amazon is not Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Costco, at least you get food. You right get food there. while you're waiting. Not, not wait two days. <laughs> Are you going to give me a free hot dog? <laughs> a $1.50 no. hot dog and a oh soda? God, so no, I, I just love going to Costco just because. We should go to Costco after this. Probably. Whenever I'm hungry, <laughs> I don't have any money, and I still have the membership, I just go there for free samples and get full-on samples. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like Peter, when there's like multiple Peters. <laughs> well, this will be all good for samurai buddies. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think it's stupid. I was saying about the exclusive ones because sometimes they do have some cool stuff only for memberships, but... Eh. Wait, what was it? Aliens. Ghosts. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, no, Amazon was never on my shit list till this. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I had no problem with Amazon until now. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's cool. I won't order. So you want, you want cool. Fallout 5? Nope. You have to uh, get our membership first. Okay, that, that is when I will get pissed. If Amazon has its own exclusives, cool. No, that's what they're going to mm -hmm. do, though. I mean, that's... No, 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 no. But wait, hold on. If Amazon has their own exclusive, like you can only get it by getting Amazon Prime, some people will get it. That's cool. Well, that's like but if they're going to make a new game and you can only get it by Amazon Prime, then yeah. that's fucked up. Yeah. That's what they're going to do too. Watch. I mean, it's, watch. it's already, I mean, there's Best Buy exclusive with games. There's Target exclusive, Walmart exclusive, exclusive, and there's Amazon exclusive. But if you're only getting a full game through Amazon, they could go fuck themselves. Yeah. You know, that, that's bullshit. Like, you know how the pre-order exclusive too, right? Mm, yeah. That, well, pre-order exclusives are okay. Yeah, basically what you're talking about. But okay. no, if, if Amazon Prime is the only way to get a game that you've been waiting, let's say an example, waiting for two or three years. Hey, and like, oh my only, God, I need to get it. You can only get Final Fantasy VII through Amazon Prime. Oh my God. Oh no, fuck that shit. Yeah. Hell no. That would be awful. But so you're telling me that I had to pay $60 for this? Well, in the case of Final Fantasy, I think it's going to be like $20 uh, per chapter. Yeah, and who knows how many chapters. You can know how many chapters. And then I'm going to have to pay $75 on top of that? Fuck that shit. I'll, yeah. I'll wait until it's uh, pre-owned on GameStop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They'll be like, only digital download. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> if Amazon wants to have their own exclusives, go for it. Some people will pay. But if Amazon's going to have everything, go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So because that, That's bad business practice. For example, Best Buy has their Gamers Club when you get 20% off. And now, it used to be like $100 in the past. But I think now it's only $20, $30. I can afford, well, most people can afford $30 and you get 20% on new games and you get special discounts and stuff. Yeah. But to pay $75 for just one exclusive that you might want to get, mm, uh, I don't think so. But anyways, we'll see what happens with them. Probably they're going to change their mind and stuff. I'm hoping so because this is bad pr business practices. Yep. Moving up to the next system, the Nintendo NX. It's been officially announced that the Nintendo NX will come out on March 2017. They're really trying to stay ahead of both Xbox and, P and Sony. No, they're trying. They're trying hard. Yeah. Well, well Wii, Wii U was kind of a failure. <laughs> it wasn't a failure. That, it, people, it was like the misunderstood system. It was like the emo system of this generation. Like, nobody understands the, me. The way, <laughs> the way people took it as, honestly, is like, oh, this is going to be expansion to my Wii because I can mm -hmm. connect it. And then it wasn't. Nope, it totally it was, it, was, it was a totally different system. Yeah. Which they shouldn't have done it. 
It, it is a good system. I like it. But some people disagree with me. Um, let's hope that the NX... The NX said that it's not going to replace the Wii U. So they're still going to... Well, so Nintendo well, always does that. They're probably going to integrate it. Yeah, like they the, might. The, Nintendo that, always that, does that. that. The old be. system always stays for a couple of years, and then they still continue with the new one. They did that with the GameCube. They did it with the Wii. They did it, they're probably going to do that with the Wii U. So it's not a big deal with that. I'm excited for it. Uh, I, I already put some money aside just for the NX because you guys know that I'm a Nintendo person. Yeah. They said that they might integrate the 3DS with the NX. That would be awesome. Or they, some people is rumoring that the NX will have a portable part. Probably. I don't, I don't doubt it. Probably a new uh, Wii U pad that you can actually take with you that it can connect to the internet by itself. That would be cool. Yeah. You know, Nintendo is always trying weird stuff that at the end is like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like the Virtual Boy. Uh, <laughs> they fix it. After 20 years, they fix it and the, it became the 3DS. <laughs> so that was good. But if you think about it, and I was telling Robert this the other day, uh, Sony is always following what Nintendo does. Yeah. The motion sensor. Um, what else was? Kind of the handheld between the Vita and the PS3. Mm, kind of like the handheld. Or the PS4, actually. Mm -hmm. So they're always following what Nintendo does, which is funny. Microsoft is just like, oh, we're kind of going to do our own thing. We're going to take some steps from you, but we're going to do mainly our own thing. Yeah. and then Like, we'll put the Kinect. What? The, 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 Q, the Q what? The Kinect. It works. We promise. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> but it watches you. Yeah. It watches you. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Skynet does not watch me. I never <laughs> bought that thing. <laughs> That's funny. Fuck that. Uh, I'm super excited for the NX. Uh, we'll see what happens. And already we know that one of the games that is going to be on the NX is, you know, Zelda. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> broken promises. Yeah, broken <laughs> promises. <laughs> People are you know, that's that already. Why that, I, when I saw that game being delayed, I go, yeah, that's going to be... Uh, a big uh, sell. No, that's going to be, what, what's it called? Like a hit? Yeah, like a big hit. Yeah, people know it's, it's a you know, Zelda, so they're going to buy it. Yeah. It's like the Xbox One people. A lot of people bought it because Halo 5 came out. And a lot of people's going to buy it because Gears of War 4 is coming out. Yep. It's the same thing. Main reason why I bought 360. I knew it was going to happen. So many delays. Like, no, yeah. it's, it's coming. Yeah, they're, they're, it, it's coming. It's coming. The dragons are coming. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, they might as well change their name to George R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> oh uh, but I wasn't expecting that we were going to have to wait another year. Especially since... Yep. This year, 2016, is the year of Legend of Zelda. Yep. And now we have to wait until, the, until next year to get See, it. See, they should have released at least... The Wii U version. A Wii U version, like this year. Mm -hmm. But instead, they want to... They, they're, I don't think they're confident uh, from their track record. They're doing the, the same thing that they did with Twilight Princess. Yeah. Well, no, Twilight Princess was still released with the GameCube, with a, uh, for the GameCube. And then released on the Wii, but it's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. But in this case, apparently, they're going to... Uh, come out at the same time for both. Yeah. So if you don't have the money to afford the NX, you can still play it on the Wii U. Yeah, but you're going to wait for this time. Exactly. But I think it's more of the fact um, they want to show their stockholders Yeah. that they're doing good. Good, good. Because when they release the NX and Zelda, they know that's going to sell like huge. I mean, Pokemon sells every year. It oh, doesn't yes. matter. Especially this year with the 20th anniversary. Yeah. But I don't think they're confident next year, so they're like, okay, we're going to release this. We're going to look good for two years in a row. Mm -hmm. So it's probably just, you know, uh, a stock uh, yeah. stock thing. All I want but is a new Metroid game, an actual Metroid game. You did get a Metroid game. Don't worry, don't worry. It's coming. No, it's well, <laughs> <laughs> it, they're making a one for the 3DS, which is Metroid Federations or something like that. No, they, oh, they, they, they didn't make it? Oh, they had the it, beta for it, huh? It's coming out, yeah. Metroid Federation something. Ugh, I, I don't even want to talk about that. But it's not even Metroid. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, another thing that Nintendo's doing is uh, they're bringing Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem to the uh, mobile. I'm sure that makes some people happy. Yeah, I'm just going to say this right now. I never really cared for mobile gaming. Yeah. I mean, like, whenever a game comes out for mobile thing that I have somewhat of interest in, I play and then, okay, I'm already bored of it. What's next? Yep. Rick and Morty came out, the Pocket Mortys. I yeah. love that game when it came out. Like, one or two weeks later, I was like, ugh. Yeah, it's repetitive and boring. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I play Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2 on my phone, but mm -hmm. mainly my kids play it. I have to entertain them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm, I don't know. I can't keep uh, playing on mobile for some reason. Some people like it. Some people are super excited for Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Well, you know people, they, people who love Animal Crossing, they go crazy mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. They love the game. Honestly, um, I don't see the big Fire deal Emblem, 
I think the reason why they're doing Fire Emblem on mobile it's because we already have Final Fantasy on mobile. We have um, what is the other? There's another RPG that is on mobile. Roman Saga. It's coming out on mobile as well. What? Yes. Oh. So they just want to cut up with it. Well, I mean, not everybody has a DS, not everybody has a VHF, but everybody has a cell phone. Mm-hmm. This is a great way to sell to sell their content. Yeah. Uh, so far, the only application that we have from uh, Nintendo is Mitomo, which is 100% free. But I'm 100% sure that with this games come oh, out, they're going to start monetizing. 5, five to 10 to four, $15 at least. Especially on RPGs, buying potions, buying weapons, oh. doing stuff. Micro, microtransactions, ho! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Away! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be interesting. A, taking a spot from EA, huh? <laughs> Do you guys think that mobile is the future of gaming? No. Absolutely not. No. It's for people that, that can't afford, like, the handheld system it, and stuff like for, that. It's for, like, more dirty casuals than me. Yeah. This is for, well, like, oh, well, I'm waiting at doctor's office. I'm just going to play my game, whatever. But is it going to be hardcore gaming? Absolutely not. Consoles and PC is for, hardcore, like, hardcore casual. <laughs> take, your, take your PS and your PlayStation with you to the doctor. <laughs> and your TV portable and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just wheel it in. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, where can I plug this in? Shut up, <laughs> I'm Twitch streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, doctor, but I need to tell you, you have cancer. I don't care. <laughs> Taking Am I going to be alive for the next five minutes? Yes, and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to finish a stream. I'm on the last castle. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I know the princess is not in this castle. Well, I've heard the news. We placed your heart with a baked potato. What? (laughs) (laughs) South Park. Uh, Anyways. But yeah, I don't... uh, Some people love mobile gaming. They can enjoy it. Uh, Personally, I don't care that much. Uh, I will try it, but I'm not going to keep going with it because I get bored easy. I'm not going to spend 20 bucks on a mobile game. Yeah, me too. Oh, God, like Final Fantasy. Yeah, that one's 15, I believe. No, Final Fantasy 9, I think it's 1999 right now. They have Final Fantasy Nine. Oh, that's right. You yeah, told me about I, I that. Told you about it. Yeah, they have Final Fantasy Seven I- iOS. But yeah, it's and like now they're coming out with Roman Saga, which is a really good game. But I prefer to play on my console than mm-hmm. yeah, that, digital buttons that you can't even feel them. Or like anything. my son plays Minecraft on his tablet. I'm just like, I see a lot I'd of rather, kids I'd rather, playing that. I rather play it on my Xbox One. Yep. Honestly, I, I prefer controller. Yeah. Or for Minecraft, I prefer keyboard, mouse and keyboard. Yep. Which that's I hope. The best I way hope. To go. Uh, soon they co- uh, Microsoft comes out with the mouse and keyboard uh, adapt, adapt. Oh yeah, to. they show up that uh, at Comic Con. Yeah, the mouse and keyboard. I think that was last year. Yeah, but uh, I'm hoping they'll be able to. It'll be adaptable to the current system that I have. Yeah, not, I hope not, so. Not the mini. And oh, I'm gonna have that's to buy fair. the fucking mini. No, you're gonna have to buy a stupid adapter. <laughs> Thirty dollars for that. Oh yeah, two hundred dollars for the mouse and keyboard. We we're thinking of doing a, a USB keyboard and mouse, but but that's too easy. We're just gonna make this a re- really weird oh, composite cable yeah. that you can't <laughs> with fifty can't. pins on it. Like you bend one, you have to buy another one. It's only hundred fifty dollars, not a big deal. Yeah, and it's only made from cheap Chinese parts, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right, moving more fragile out of it. <laughs> Microsoft closed Lionhead. Oh, I saw that from a mile away. Yeah. <sighs> Especially when Fable 3 was... When they were delaying it over and over. No, when Fable 3 came out, I was like... That game the new Fable was a piece of crap. No, I the, hated it. The, yeah, when you're spending most time in the castle, I'm like, fuck off. And people don't <laughs> follow you, you have to hold their goddamn hand yeah. for them to fucking follow you. It's like, okay, Fable 1, awesome. No, amazing Fable 1 game. was amazing. Don't oh, yeah. get me wrong. Fable I love that game. Uh, it, it was good. Good, okay. I have to say nothing. I can't say okay. anything really bad Fable about 3, it. oh my god. This is going to kill Lion's Heart. Whoops. <laughs> it did. You jinxed it. You I did killed jin- him. I did jinx it when I first... Like, they're giving it away for free on 360. I know that. Ooh. Really? Yeah. That's one of the free games, huh? Yeah. That's I what... haven't turned on my 360 I don't even in a long it. time. Yeah. <laughs> no, ever it, like, since it, I got it gave PS4. me the option to download it. I was like, nope. Yeah. I think I... <laughs> once Microsoft stopped giving me free uh, one-year subscriptions when I used to work for Microsoft, like I was like, nah, I don't need to turn it on anymore. Yeah, so like the Fable 3, it's like a thief when it came out for the PS4, PS, PSN network. I don't want it. Nope, you yeah. keep that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I, feel, I feel sorry for the people that work there. I'm pretty sure they were trying to work on Fable 4 or... Yeah, they were working on yeah, it. That. And, that's, and they were going like, yeah, we might. Yeah, I might. Yeah, yeah we're trying to innovate. Nope. We're trying to innovate. And then they were like, oh, okay, guys, clear out your desks. Like, but I think get the, fuck the out. main reason Lionhead was alive was just Fable. Yeah, Fable. Because their other game is what it's called, Black and White? Yeah. And then it was just variations of Fable because they have like, uh, they were Fable the Journey, Fable Mini Golf, yeah. 
Fable Heroes. It Fable. was just trying to be another fan of fantasy when they can explode as much Fable as they boxing. can. Fable Boxing. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Fable, they, they, were train, you they were borderline independent yep. gaming, but Microsoft, I, I mean, I could already see it. It, wasn't, it was not going to survive. Do you think Microsoft will make a Fable by under their name? No. I don't think so. I think they'll wait probably five, ten years and then release like a nostalgia. Yeah, probably. But they're never going to, you know, recreate the, the, the all that was Fable 1. You know, the original one. Yep. Well, but Microsoft not only closed um, Fable or Lionhead, but they also stopped producing Xbox 360s. About time. Yeah. <laughs> Took them long enough. You know what's funny? They didn't announce which Xbox 360s stopped yeah, th- making. Yeah, because they got like six different versions. <laughs> we versions. stopped making the arcade. But I'm sure they produced more than like five million units. So they were like, whatever, we got these in reserve. We'll still put them out in stores until they're gone. I'm sure that there's a lot of new Xbox 360s at Walmart, at Best Buy, yeah. GameStop. And mm-hmm. people are just like, well, I mean, their line of thought is probably, well, everybody, most people of our subscribers have an Xbox One already, so whatever. Yeah. You know, this is dead. We're moving on to the next version. Yeah, your Xbox 360 will, like, will mean, last for 20 uh, years. When, you when, don't they, need when 360 just came out, how long did they produce the original Xbox? Not mm. long after. They stopped producing it like two, three years after. Yep. And it's and been two years since the new generation started. And they shut Over down, two years. And then they shut down the servers for that. And it's not too long. Um, I think another two, three years, they're going to shut down the 360 servers. Yep. Unless, it's going to be sad when they turn out the Halo uh, servers. The Halo 3 servers? Because mm-hmm. they already did the Halo 2 servers like years yes. ago. <laughs> like months ago. Like last year, I think. Well... Another company that shut down servers is Sony. They finally shut down the servers for Final Fantasy XI on the PlayStation 2. Good. Damn. <laughs> Took them long enough. There's a lot of people that still play Final Fantasy XI because they don't have the money to afford Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, that is true. And it's sad. Well, but I'm assuming that they probably have private servers. Yeah, they do. No, I'm sure that those are still up. Yeah. I mean, people that's... still have private servers on the original Xbox, Yeah, which is crazy. So, that's how they still keep. Uh, that's how they keep on playing Halo Two. <laughs> you know? The good Halo. The good, no cheese Halo, because you just go <laughs> dual wield and I win. <laughs> yeah, dual dual wield needlers. I win. Uh, blow up, blow up, blow up, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Next. <laughs> it's sad. Uh, well, the PlayStation. It's funny. After so many years, the PlayStation Two is still around. That's yeah. awesome. People still playing on it. And to play Final Fantasy uh, Eleven, most likely you need a fat yep. PlayStation Two. Those are like the best ones. I uh, mean, as much as the PlayStation 2 sold, it, it, it cl- eclipsed at mm-hmm. Microsoft and Nintendo. If I'm not mistaken, the last PlayStation 2 game was released in 2014, I which was so. FIFA. Yeah. FIFA 14. I, I yeah. think so. That's crazy. It was, it's the biggest system in the history. It sold a lot of games. It has over a thousand games on the oh, yeah. library. It's, it's, it was amazing. It's one of the most adaptable ga- uh, game consoles. Yep. Currently. And it's sad to see him It, it was miles ahead of the the xbox you think sony will ever make something like the playstation 2 sony yeah that they will ever I, get the I same think, level i think they tried with the playstation 3 because they went balls out on that one yeah like they well, tried everything they were like okay we're gonna put in the blu-ray player we're gonna put in everything and then they later that on was a, oh my god rover fuck you <laughs> <laughs> revenge i'm glad my my nose is fucked up right god now. damn it Ron, Jesus. <laughs> um <laughs> I yeah. What I'm of that. Oh my God. <laughs> you douchebag. <laughs> but yeah, they did great. I mean, it was the first DVD player for so many people, as well as the uh, the PlayStation Three was the first Blu-ray player. Yeah. So yeah, like when my mom uh, back in the day, she was like debating whether to get a Blu-ray player or or a uh, HD player. I was, oh God. I just told her. Yeah, I just told her get a PS3. It has a Blu-ray player, and you can play uh, play any video games you want. Wasn't the um the HD HD player coming out when uh, already when uh, the HD DVDs were already tanking? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then the Xbox uh, 360 released their little disc player for it. But who who did the the DVDs? No, the Blu-rays. Was it Toshiba? Yeah. I think so. The first ones, yeah. No, no, like who patented it, like to be the... I think Toshiba. Yeah, I think it was Toshiba, the one who patented the, the Blu-ray. And then there was another company that was going for the, called the DVD HD. And since Sony wanted to be different, they were the only ones that supported the DVD HD, while Sony already had the PlayStation 3 with Blu-ray built yeah. in it. So they were done. But anyways, we'll miss you uh, Final Fantasy servers, and we'll still miss you PS2. <laughs> another 
uh, title that we're going to miss a lot is Dark Souls. They announced yeah. that there's not going to be another Dark Souls, which is we'll really heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how long that holds up. Just like they said, this was, uh, Skyrim was going to be the last Elder Scrolls game. Right. Well, it might because the next one might be called Skyrim 2. So. <laughs> no, Velen would. I love Dark Souls. Uh, personally, I haven't played it that much, but I always see Robert playing it, and it looks so fun. I love that game so much. <laughs> it's even though a lot of times it's glitch fest. It's perfect though. <laughs> it's perfect. Don't don't you talk bad about it. <laughs> don't you change it. It's perfect. I remember one of the first times I played Dark Souls. One of the first times I played, I think it was Dark Souls one. I, yeah, that's the first one I played. Demon Souls? No, 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 no. Dark Souls. It's oh. Not Demon Souls. I haven't played. I didn't play Demon Souls first. Mm. I got so mad at it that I stopped playing it for a year, and I actually broke my controller. I was gonna ask him about what was your your most controlling shattering moment. <laughs> I was actually like um, debating on buying like a, a broken controllers from like the swap meet and just breaking those in my frustration. <laughs> God <laughs> damn! Wait, what is the other controller? Oh, here, damn it! <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do that with Dark Souls uh, Three because that's a sixty dollar fucking controller. Yeah. yeah, they're expensive. I mean, they got successors out of Bloodborne now. There's a lot of spiritual and, um, successors. Oh, Bloodborne. Um, um, and then we got the new Alpha Beta game demo that's on. That's free on the Nio. Uh, yeah, Nio. Nio. Which takes place in like feudal Japan, Ooh! <laughs> which it kind of mixes in, mixes in uh, Japanese mythology with like their demons and monsters mm -hmm. and stuff. I try it and it's good. You you let me play it a little bit and it looks fun. I like it. I like um, Naiho because um, you know in Dark Souls how you have like the blood stains when someone dies, <laughs> you get to watch how they die. Mm -hmm. But in Naiho, when you touch their like grave, their, their like bloody grave, when you touch it and activate it, you have to fight their their specter. It's unfair yeah. because you had to fight to the dead, but he's dead already. Yeah, I made that mistake like um, because I saw a bunch of them when I first started playing. I was like, oh, I could I could watch how people died. I'll I'll watch just for the hell of it. Oh wait, what's happening? Oh, shades coming after me. Oh shit! <laughs> I got ten minutes. I can eat my chili dog. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> There's chili all over me. I got died. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, uh, I really hope they make Bloodborne too. They oh, yeah. they need to because they, it's they, a really good game. They did a really good job of Bloodborne. They um, Bandai Namco might do just a new uh, spiritual successor, but I'm sure at some point we're gonna see a new version of uh, Dark Souls. Maybe Dark Souls One and Two remastered. Yeah, th I'm sure they'll do special that. editions or some well, shit like, like that. Like ten years later or something. They did the yeah. remastered one for two, that, and that was just Dark Souls uh, for the <coughs> PS4 with uh, the DLC. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, let's send it to the original one, just like they did with Halo. I would like to see a the remastered, remastered like version of uh, Demon Souls for Ooh, PS4. Oh, Demon Souls, that's from a uh, Atlas, right? Well, yeah, it's actually. It is Atlas. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, well, Dark Souls 3 just came out, so we have a lot to go with Dark Souls 3 for a while. And but it's been selling a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. I still well, need to buy it. I'm glad that they're not going the way that Assassin's Creed is doing, that they no, show up like four games every year. The yearly pump. Uh, like COD. I'm not even excited for Assassin's Creed anymore. I can care less. I don't even care about Assassin's Creed anymore, but I'm glad that they're not going that way. Um, I'm, I'm glad that they're making this game. They announced that they're not going to make more, but probably five years. Uh, yeah, who knows? Two years. They might do something else. But they're not going, oh, we're not going to make another Dark Souls uh, game uh, next month announcing Dark Souls 4. Like, that's dumb. But um, I am excited for the next Assassin's Creed because I think they're putting it in ancient, uh, ancient Egypt. Hmm. De -de 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 -de. Apocalypse is going to be there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now, that would be the a good Assassins game. Assassins are mutants. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens. That, that explains a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. But, um... Yeah, I was getting tired of the repetitiveness of uh, Assassin's Creed. There and the last one, they did the Assassin's Creed Chronicles in China for then, mobile or some shit like Syndicate, that. And Syndicate, it wasn't even that great. The glitches. Uh, God, the glitches were No, awful. no, the glitches out of Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, Unity, my bad. Unity was... And then the one they don't even talk about, Assassin's Creed Rogue. That was the best one out of those those last three that came out. In I like the third my one. Opinion. Assassin's Creed 3, that, and that one's the most hated. I think it's because of the main character, how poorly yeah. made he was. I mean, his character. It was, but I love it was, the, the story, like pirates I, and the whales. Oh, <laughs> you mean Assassin's Creed 4? Oh, that's 4? Black, Black Flag? Black Flag, yeah. Oh, I thought that was 3. No. Okay, uh, I like... 3, three was uh, with the, the, the my person the, the native oh that's the, right the, that's the, unity right no assassin creed uh uh three in the revolutionary war American yeah colonial. isn't that unity no unity is uh after black flag oh okay then my bad i haven't played in a long time no, i like black flag fine. black flag was great it was good rogue was actually okay 
better, especially Rogue with the is the one design. that only came out on 360, yeah. right? It didn't come out on Xbox yeah, I, One. I had that one. And it, was, it was really good. I liked no. it. Yeah. And then Unity came out. Uh, oh my but God, see, the in the last five years, <laughs> in the last five years, how many Assassin's Creed we got? And mm-hmm. we're getting the movie as well. Yeah. So they're trying to explore well, it too the, much the and movie, rush it. The movie looks pretty good. It, it looks decent. Michael, yes. Michael Fassbender, I think he's going to do great in that movie, especially how talented of an actor he is. Mm-hmm. Um, as for the Assassin's Creed games, they need, like, they need to take a break, what, think it, and then come back. Yeah, them yeah. and COD. They need to fucking stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what happens with Dark Souls and we'll see what happens with Assassin's Creed as yeah, well. we'll see. Uh, another game that it's coming out way too much already that they need to stop. It's Call of Duty. Yeah. Every like single I'm, year is like a new Call of Duty. <laughs> and for some reason, they always get 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, uh, I mean, every, I mean, especially these last two years, they were like, people have been wanting another World War II movie game or you know modern warfare mm-hmm. I would like to but no the fucking i'm pretty sure in that war room he goes no we're going back to black as he grabs a guitar and starts playing <laughs> playing rolling stones playing oh, right. Right. <laughs> no, they go like, mm. <laughs> you know um that one needs a fucking calm down yeah i would actually like to see like one of the older older games like maybe like a vietnam war one or maybe world, world war they, one they, they did vietnam with black ops which was oh yeah good no, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean Vietnamese. I meant uh, Korean. Korean War. Oh, mm-hmm. that'd be pretty good. Korean War. I mean, World War One. Desert Storm. Yes, Desert Storm. I mean, I completely how... forgot about that game. <laughs> there is none of that. No, there is a conflict Desert Storm. Oh yeah. Game. Oh okay. I mean, there were games made like uh, America's Army who made a Desert Storm game. Didn't Medal of Honor make one as well? No. Uh, no, they they did. That's one. just Germany, right? Yeah, well, they, the original. They one. they mainly did World War Two games. Yeah, that was their bread and butter. And then they tried doing modern times, and that one failed Ugh. horribly. Yeah, I only funny. had that one for collection. Like I tried once, and I was like, nope, this is not my metal. I did. I like played. It. I'm I played, going back to the PlayStation. I one. played the beta, and I was like, this is. I mean, it's trying to be. It, it's trying to be Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. At the time, I was a pretty decent. Call yeah, they were trying to Call of Duty fan. Yeah, back then. Bring the name back, but not the same game format. Yeah, I mean. They should go back to World War Two. I mean, go back to your roots. Just remaster the PlayStation One. I'm fine with that. That I mean, or like they're doing now, or just re- yeah. remastering. But the way that um, Activision, Activision is the one that make Call of Duty. Yes. Yes. And they uh, announced Infinity it. Ward. They no. just put a poop emoji and pants because apparently their next game would have shit your pants. And it was just, okay, well, we're making a new Call of Duty at, uh, what is it called? Infinity War? Infinity, Infinity War? Yeah, Warfare. Infinity Warfare. War. It's like, and oh. people is like, oh, another game. But wait, it's we're giving you the remastered version of uh, the classic Warfare. Well, the Modern they, Modern Warfare. they have to. Because if you look at their sales, they've been plummeting ever since Black Ops 2. After Black Ops 2, just slowly going down. Yeah. You know, every year they, they're like, like, they're losing out to Battlefield. Like, I've been telling you guys, Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 were the last great Call of Duty games. Oh, easily. Yeah, mm-hmm. n- n- no contest there. And um, I mainly played for the story. I did too. And then I played the the online. But I, I was That's another problem. Like, I wasn't Mr. MLG. <laughs> <laughs> All the games now want to focus on the online part. Focus? Because they, they see it as, you know, the the future of gaming. It's like, no, there's no. Still, there still needs to be story. Titanfall tried doing both. I mean, it was okay. I liked it. But they should have, uh, I mean, to people that don't have that great of online, to people that don't have, you know, that don't want to be part of the online community, give yeah. them that single player game. Give mm-hmm. them the full game. Don't give, don't sell a $60 game for like a piece of a game. Yeah. Some people can afford the game. Some people can't afford yeah. the subscription, the PlayStation Plus, the Xbox. Uh, Xbox subscription, then their internet bill, then their electric bill. Exactly. Then, you know, all this shit. It I just want to go up. home, sit down and play a game. Yeah. I don't want to be like waiting to connect, waiting to connect, like, connecting. Like connecting. right now, I'm playing the error division. server. Fuck. Like I'm playing the division right now, and there's no offline play on that game. Nope. Not I at fucking all. hate it. I hate that. And it was supposed to be like the game of the year. Yeah, it, <laughs> not even close. I give it a six out of ten. Yeah, yeah people are saying that this was gonna be the new Battlefield uh, Three. Um, <laughs> it, it's I see it as Ghost Recon mixed in with an MMO. Yep. Yeah. That's all it is. I and love it's, Battlefield it's, Three. It's by the way, go shoot bullet sponges. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, but uh, with this Call of Duty, uh, they're they're slowly becoming Halo because now they're going in space. They're going Wait, in what? Sp- they're going in Infinity Warfare is going to be in space. In uh, space. If you, look, if you look at that picture, he has a futuristic gun and a space helmet. Ugh. It's like, oh, now you're just making Halo. Ugh. <laughs> 
Or you're making Doom, which, or, or less gory Doom. Oh, God, I'm excited for Doom. I, it's the I'm, origin I'm excited for the single player in Doom. Now, what they're going for is the origin story for Halo. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's we're at the Covenant. <laughs> oh, my God, they fucking link. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like this Doom is like a remastered version of the Orange Box. Because it has a lot of ha- uh, Half-Life on it. Especially with the weapons. I told you about that, that it looks a lot of uh, yeah. Half-Life. I told you that everyone's been saying, especially Johnny here, saying it looks like Halo. It kind of reminded me, like, I couldn't name it back then, but now that I heard of, uh, heard of it, I heard, it reminds me of Quake. Oh, yeah. it well, does. it's from the same people that yeah. made it. It uses the Unreal server, right? Or Unreal I, I, Engine. I think it uses the Unreal Engine. Yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. That would be cool. But, um, but it was, yeah, like I said. like The we first said, beta I played on, it was it was bad. It was, it, it, it was just... I don't know. The gameplay wasn't that great. I didn't but get then a chance they revised, to play the first one. They, they revised the beta. It's, mm-hmm. it's great. It's, oh, yeah. It, this it, beta it, was fun as hell. Especially when you become a demon. Like, <laughs> but, but I'm waiting. I want to play the single player. <gasps> oh. Just because the jumps. I remember the jump scares out of Doom 3, how dark it was. <laughs> you know, it like, gave me paranoia. It mm-hmm. was almost like. What the fuck's it, it around the corner? Space. It was Dead Space. Dead Space, the original, before it was Dead Space. <laughs> it's like when and that meme when Gandalf is like, they came out to save it. <laughs> Wait, the autosave, there's a bunch of health. Some shit's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> so um I was watching the um the Twitch stream of the of the um of the Doom the, Shut the, up. <laughs> Day of Doom. No, yeah, they were just playing the single player of Doom and I saw one of the Easter eggs they have in there. And it goes back to like there's a certain area and you can make a turn off into and it goes back into like one of the classic areas. <laughs> and so you can play the classic areas. With like, and it has the music too. Kind of like Wolfenstein. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it was awesome because. And we were just talking about that on the Let's Play with it. Yes, I was kind of hoping for that, and now that I saw that, I got really excited. That's awesome. You get to go into the classic area with just like same demons. With like no, not same demons, but with but with like new demons, new guns, but with. Yeah, if they want to make that into a mobile game, I would love it. No, I was telling him that they should do the classic one. A multiplayer. No. Kind of so, like a Minecraft. You know how the there's this big craze going on with like VR, right? Uh-huh. I would like to play a Doom in virtual reality. Oh, my wait, God. Wait, wait. Original Doom or Doom 4? Or both. No, or both. Original. Oh, yeah. First the original. Why not both? <laughs> I, I, was, I was saying, I love the original one. When you, you shoot this way, but the guy's in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just walking with your gun swing left to right, left to right. Where you had the dull bro shotgun and just annihilate everything in front of you. <laughs> hey, there's a room full of guys. <laughs> See, some or people want like Minecraft. We just want the original Doom. I want Doom. We mix those two together. Oh my god, that was so cool. And then when you're becoming the uh, the demon, and they just look at your hands and. Yeah. You're just, <laughs> But here's the here's the here's one of the things that I have a little bit of a problem with if the virtual reality. If I'm like killing a demon in there and someone touches me, I'm gonna spread up plug them in the face. <laughs> like, hey, like, go, get away from me. Dude, I just you're came sh- and tell you dinner was ready. <laughs> you're shitting your pants. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Demons everywhere. <laughs> Wow, this game is so hot. Your house on fire. I don't give a shit. Yeah, so if I ever play Doom, I'm not done to, yet. I'm gonna have to lock the door. Yeah. Hey, Johnny, put your dick away. When I'm finished. <laughs> this is a Game of Thrones. It okay. will be. <laughs> oh god. Well, that would be a good. If they made that on the VR, that would be an amazing reason to buy the VR. I would buy the VR. I would spend the five hundred dollars on it. Um. I'll wait until they revise the VR I mean, machines. I've been, I've been seeing see. some Let's Players play the VR, and from what I've seen, I actually, it actually looks pretty cool. I mean, it does, but, you know, I don't have that kind of space. Yeah, me neither, you no. know. I mean, I, I like what they did with the Alien uh, Isolation. Like, you can sit down and play. It's mm-hmm. pretty cool. You know, you just got to move your head, whatever. Um, uh, but with the stand-up games, I, I can't do it. Uh, I'm sure house, they will figure out. My room is too small, my house. Uh, I share it with four other people, so it's like... And plus you have kids, too. That yeah, run and in. I'm going to smack one of them in the face, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a grenade, just grab your kid from the head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, sh- <laughs> I'm sure they will fix I all that stuff. I am in trouble. <laughs> don't, don't tell your mom. Uh, I'll take you out for ice cream later. Name of the game. Oh, you made me drink my spill. <laughs> see, I was an evil little God, kid. I want to see somebody get drunk and play those games in VR. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, man. Markiplier, please do that. No, he can't drink anymore. He he can't. Par- his body oh, yeah, can't yeah. Uh, parse oh, yeah. uh, alcohol. PewDiePie, do it. I don't care. Someone else will do it. That's fine. <laughs> But yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, um, moving up to uh, Steam, something that we usually don't talk about. Choo-choo. 
Uh, Sega has announced that you can buy the Genesis collection and it's open, so you can actually hack it. That's yeah. awesome. Well, I mean, look at their how their sales been. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, is this, how, is this how, their how, last resource to make how, money? How their their uh, their their little puppet do uh, in the last game, Sonic? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, Sonic Boom. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. But it's like pretty much Sega is giving you the option to make your own Mario Maker. Yeah. Well, with all the Genesis collection. So Sega Maker. So you're a Sega Maker. And there's a lot of people that make mods. Uh, oh, yeah. I have a lot of friends that make custom games. Yeah. ROMs and stuff. So this is really nice. Uh, I know a lot of people love Steam. I'm not a Steam person. You guys know that. Uh, but it's cool. If they they give you the option to do whatever the fuck you want with your game, and I agree with I do agree with this uh, little move they're doing because so many game developers are like, no, no, you cannot take my, you cannot mess with my exactly. game, and they will punish those. They would ban them from whatever server they're on, and that's like, okay, dude, calm down. Let people have fun with it. That's what you built it for, right? That's mm-hmm. what you made it for. Yeah, and um, we know already. For example, <laughs> we have um, GTA Five that you can oh. customize it as you want it. Yeah, we at have, first it wasn't. At first it wasn't, but yeah, now but, they say, yeah. do whatever the fuck you like, want. Whatever, dude. We have uh, Fallout. Yeah, I know, yep. but that's the, uh, it welcomes modding for uh, for Fallout. As long as it's only in PC. Yeah, at <laughs> first I think they did. Like At first they were like, actually they were going to sell the mods, weren't they? The, oh, yeah, they were going to sell the mod version yeah, on, play, that, on that PC. Was, that was like, okay, yeah. no, don't do that. <laughs> I love the John Cena one when John Cena just goes one punch <laughs> and just get the fuck out of everybody. I like the nuke one. <laughs> The nuke, uh, John Cena. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, my God. Guy. John Cena. <laughs> Robert, have you seen the nuke on Dark Souls 3? The what? There's a nuke on Dark Souls 3 that no. a guy just going, Phew, get the fuck out of everybody with one hit. I was like, holy shit, that's cool. But anyways, this is awesome. So we have new generation games giving you the option to mod. But for retro players like me, if I was on Steam, I would love to have this. Seems free. <laughs> well, but the games are not. Steam sale. <laughs> Steam sale. Oh, God. That's Surrender one of the reasons I want to avoid Wait a minute. It's coming up. Oh, shit. It is summer. <laughs> it is summer. <laughs> Steam sales are coming. Yeah. Hide your, your wallet. wallet. <laughs> Hide your, your wallet, wallet will not be safe. <laughs> it's awesome the Sega did it. Like, good job, Sega. You finally done something good yeah. after, like, so many terrible yeah. Sonics. Many many after so many terrible decisions. <laughs> no, yeah. I think Sonic and the Black Knight or whatever... The one who's in Medieval Times, that was one of the worst ones. Ugh. No, I don't even know. <laughs> the last good decision was the Dreamcast, but that was too far ahead of its time. I miss the Dreamcast. They need mm-hmm. to make a Dreamcast. But anyways, now something funny uh, has been happening at the WWE. <gasps> Someone has been going around the WWE signing petitions to localize Mother 3, a.k.a. Earthbound 2. Wait, <laughs> WWE? At the what WWE. The? <laughs> Wait. Are they hurting for that much rating? <laughs> Are they hurting in ratings to do that? <laughs> yeah, we gotta get gamers in on this. So they go to the five. Like, hey, can you sign this petition? Like, ah. yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Get this out of my way. All right. <laughs> oh, you want an autograph? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they have like a thousand signatures, and one of those is John Cena. What the fuck? <laughs> John Cena. Oh Wait, shit! What? John Cena wants more than three. We have to make it localized. Who the now? hell is eBay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. But, hey, that's cool. That's a nice way to do it. Like, I would love to see Mother 3 localized by Nintendo, not by fans. Fans did it already. Yeah. And that game is fantastic. Maybe they can do a Mother 4 finally here. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, no. Yeah. But they have to go through the game devs on that one. I'll send a petition. I'll go to the <laughs> WWE just to sign a petition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the next time they come through Baker's Hall. Oh, God. Oh, Gosh. my God. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be outside with our petitions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's well, that, cool. That's actually pretty If they cool. can bring Mother 3, I'll, I will thank the WWE. All right. Well, moving on to a different topic. It's so, something really funny. This always happened in England. I don't know why. But a truck with Uncharted 4 on it got stolen. <laughs> Like they last really wanted year, those games. Right? Last year it was a truck full of amiibos, and now it's a truck full of Uncharted Four. Damn, those <laughs> English people don't give a fuck. That's what happens when they don't have guns. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Uh, it's funny because Sony came out and say, "Please, if you see a copy of Uncharted Four, do not buy it." I'll or do it. not get it. Um, people that's actually doing it because they want to avoid spoilers for everybody else. Oh. And we don't know if it's finished. Well, the, probably the game is finished because they it's, all, it's obvious they it's were finished. transporting it. But it's crazy. But on the other side, like, how much of a dick do you have to do to steal a, a whole fucking truck? Like last year, they saw a truck of Amiibos. And because of that, we have the Amiibo recession here in the United States. <laughs> and are we going to have the Uncharted 4 recession now? Uh, oh, probably. <laughs> That would be funny as hell. 
Um, I don't know. It, it sounds super funny that someone will steal a track of video games. Um, Someone's it, it's not uncon. I mean, it's not unthinkable. Well, money's money for them. I mean, yeah. they don't give a shit what's inside. They they just want a truck of something. <laughs> yeah, they just want to make money. What's gonna be next? Like they steal a truck of PS4 Neos. And <laughs> that that's money. <laughs> that is a shit ton of money. That will be crazy. That yeah. is a, that's when you go to Pakistan and be like, hey, you want to buy all these? <laughs> <laughs> give me a gold mine. <laughs> give me a, give me oil. <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, that, that is super funny to happen. But please, England, stop being a dick. We want games here as well. I'm More security on your trucks. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> New guns. Get a steak or something, a taste. Yeah, get a though. cattle prod. You know how much those those, those are cheap nowadays. <laughs> Grab a cucumber and just keep it with you, like. <laughs> but don't give it to your cat. <laughs> something cool came out this week uh, on my Facebook, and Robert talked to me about it. A wireless adapter to use your PlayStation Four controller on your NES. Yes, that was pretty cool. That was interesting. That is crazy, right? Like, how cool is it? Well, you can only use four buttons out of it. Yeah, so what? <laughs> you, can, you can only use the D-pad and probably two buttons. Yeah, just two yeah. buttons. And then the option and the start menu or whatever. Oh, that's right. How are you going to do select start? It's the two buttons on the yeah. on the side of the touchpad. Oh, okay. Well, probably the triggers as well. I don't oh, know. No. Okay, no. Start and uh, select is just pushing in the joysticks. Probably. Oh, that can oh, that could work. That's how it is on... Is it Vita? I think it's on the Vita that you... Because I, I'm pretty sure you can button... Emulators. When you plug it into a computer, you can button map it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's cool. It would be nice if they actually... The adapter comes with an NES adapter, an N64 adapter, and a Super Nintendo adapter. So you can just plug it in on all three and play well, whatever I mean, you want. It'd be good if they did it for all controllers. Whether it be if the adapter works with all controllers, yeah, with I'm uh, pretty sure like it does. Xbox One controllers or 360 controllers or PS3 controllers, because mm-hmm. that one actually has start select on it. <laughs> yeah, that would be actually cool, but it's a cool idea. I mean, some people are saying, "Why the fuck do we need that?" Well, some people want Why to not? innovate. Why exactly, <laughs> mix the old and the new. Yeah, I mean, I play the shit out of my NES I mean, pretty much every day. Here. I mean, people probably don't like the old boxy NES con- uh, controller. It's too tiny it for is, some people. It is tiny. and The um, cable is might be too short. The only wireless uh, controllers for the NES are shitty as fuck. Yeah, they have like a massive delay, I think. <laughs> well, the thing is that you had to be pointing it at the NES all the time. Yeah, so if you go off, oh, Because Mario it's died. infrared, <laughs> yeah. But it's cool. I like it's the idea. A, it's, a great, it's a great idea. It's mm-hmm. good in, uh, innovation. Yeah, innovation. innovating the old yeah. school, which is awesome. Because people still retro players are still yep, alive. Just like me. It doesn't matter. I still love playing my news. <laughs> Next yeah. generation, there are going to be uh, still retro players. <laughs> now, depending on what the price is, I'm probably going to get one. Yeah. They're probably like around, what, hopefully, maybe, uh, maybe 30 bucks. Yeah, 15, that's what I was saying. 15, bucks. $20 would be ideal. I mean, you're just buying the adapter. You're not buying the. I mean, now, if it comes with a controller, with that, that's a different story. Yeah, that's 60 to 70. Holy crap. Can you imagine if they actually paint the controller uh, silver and black? Well, like, uh, like your phone cover? <laughs> like my phone? <laughs> yes. That would be awesome. I was actually seeing like some of the, um, the skins for the PS4. There was a, there was a NES one. Yes, there is one. There's an Atari one as well. All right, cool. Um, moving on to something that uh, I don't even want to talk about, but anyways, there's a new Finance of Freddy's coming out. You are there. Yep. They should. He should have stopped. At, on three. Well, he on three. He should have made that better, but stopped on three. Mm-hmm. Don't then, even bother with four. Four was even. Uh, and now there's spinoffs called uh, Five Nights at Candy's. That's um, what it's supposed to be called. Like, I don't, it, I don't it's think, a rumor. I don't think Scott Cawthon is even doing those. I think that's just other people doing it. Oh, okay. That's just a company. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's just... I, I don't know, because Scott Cawthon said that Five Nights at Freddy 4 was his last, I guess, but... Which yeah. one was the five? Is the five the one that it's uh, at the room? Uh, five Nights at Freddy 4? Oh, that's Five Nights at Freddy 4? Yeah, that, Which that's... Which one's the five? There is no five. Oh, there is no five. Okay. This would be fifth if the sister location comes out. Okay. Yeah. Well, on the web page, apparently, they put a quote that it says sister's location. And you thought it was the last one or you thought it was only one? Yeah. Something like that. I um, don't know. It, Finance it, of Freddy's came out a year he, ago. If he goes back to the roots, like hmm. not trying to make the, the animatronics all scared. Because they were creepy in the first and second one. Yeah. Because they look playful. They look. Even on the third one, when the it, it just shows up like if it well, was drunk and look at you in your eyes. Like. That one, I don't know. I didn't like it. I mean, uh, I didn't like that game whatsoever. Two, you know, one and two were great. I have one and two on my iPad. I, I have one it. and two on my phone, and my kids, yeah. my kids play that phone too. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was yeah. super fun. But it, the original Finance of Freddy's came out like one or two years ago. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> one, yeah, and he dished out all four games in a year. Yeah, like every other month, like it yeah. was a teaser for a new one. And I was yeah. like, what? I mean, they're easy to make. Why not? Well, yeah. But yeah. he should have had more for I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, he donated a great deal of money to... Uh, uh, Cherry. No, cancer research, I think. No, yeah, no. Yeah. So, you know, he, he's, he's a great guy. But he had, he, if he wanted to get the most money out of it, to, if he wanted to help more people, you know, have more foresight to build anticipation for the next game. Build, do a yearly thing, a bi-yearly thing. Yeah, or every six months. No, like... Not at, like four months later, okay, it's coming out. Yeah. Or announce it. He announced mm-hmm. it on the day and then comes out two months later. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it was, just, or the beta's coming out or, or the demo's already coming out. Oh, next the aliens day. are coming. I don't know. But, That's probably the next one, the financial phrase in space. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the animatronic they gave, it, it, Hi, animatronic. it, did, it did look kind of creepy. It, it went back to the toy and it was, yeah. It wasn't all messed up like all the other animatronics. So, this is a sister location. It's probably going to be like, I don't know, new animatronics? Probably. <laughs> We don't know, Probably a yeah. continuation of the lore that that's all behind it. Yeah, or the the past story, which we don't know a hundred percent yet. <laughs> oh, with oh, yeah, yeah, go to game yeah. theories. <laughs> game. Go to game theories. Yeah, there's so and, many creepy yeah. pastas and backstories yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Well, we'll wait and see what happens, and then we'll talk about it. Yeah. All right. Well, moving now to the movies again a little bit, but this time uh, video game movies. They cast a uh, new Lara Croft for Tomb Raider. Her name is Alicia Vikander. She is actually very skinny, and I would have preferred Daisy Riley instead because she is adorable. Adorable? Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited for the new Tomb Raider. Um, I'm glad that it's not going to be um, Angelina, Jolie. Angelina Jolie. I don't like her in general. Lips. Yeah. I hope it is the story of the new Tomb Raider. The yeah. first one. I haven't played the second one, so I can't say much yeah, about it. I haven't played either, but I've seen Tomb Raider 1. Yeah, the, it was a uh, good comeback. Raider. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. a great comeback. And people are always complaining that Tomb Raider is just about a uh, very sexy body and just a few little tricks obviously, here and there. Obviously, you've never played a game. <laughs> I mean, the original one, we know that it was uh, triangle with boobs, and, and they were trying squirt. to make it sexy, and then they <laughs> and an octagon butt, <laughs> and an octagon butt, and then they brought Angelina Jolie, and they told them, "Oh, this game is sexy and shit." And man, yeah, fuck that. Uh, I'm excited for a new Tomb Raider movie. It's going to be made by MGM. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Act, uh, I think Warner Brothers was the one that did the last Tomb Raiders, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I can't remember, honestly. I, honestly, I haven't seen those movies in forever. Oh, actually, MGM and Warner Brothers are co-filming the movie. Oh, okay. As long as it's not Lionsgate, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Lionsgate has a terrible track record. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. But, hey, I'm excited for a new Tomb Raider movie. I'm a big uh, Tomb Raider fan. I love all the games. I think I have most of the games, except for the PC ones, which are super cool. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Another movie that it might happen, the guy who directed uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World wants to do a Shinobi movie. Oh, that's right. I remember you telling me about that. Yes. I just read that in the morning, and I was like, What? A Shinobi movie will be the shit. It will be just a ninja kicking babies. Yeah, when you told me about that, I got excited. Batman will be in the movie. Godzilla will be in the movie. <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's actually a good idea. I mean, it's not original, but it's a step away from everything that's happening. Right? Like, uh, yeah. movies that yeah. are pretty nice. Everyone wants to make games about the news, the, the popular ones. They want to make yeah. a Finance of Phrase movie. They want to make a, a Tomb Raider movie. Assassin's Creed. But Shinobi, it's a huge part of video game history. Yeah, Robert, yeah. it's like it's your favorite game. Oh yeah, back when the Sega, I remember uh, Shinobi One, uh, Revenge of the Ninja, Shadow Dancer. Yeah, those were my favorite games back in the day. Oh yeah. Was Shinobi before Ninja Gaiden? Uh, no, Ninja no. Gaiden was before Shinobi. Oh okay. Hey, but it will be super cool. Uh, a lot of new gamers don't know Shinobi as we know it because the last Shinobi game was a piece of shit. Which one? Um, the Shinobi for the 3DS I didn't like it it was difficult I have it it's a, it's a little challenging yeah well all the Shinobi games are challenging but I, I wasn't a big fan of it isn't there one for uh, no that's Ninja Gaiden for the Playstation wait Ninja Gaiden yeah there is a Ninja Gaiden for the Playstation 2 for the PS Vita oh yeah I haven't played that one but that last Shinobi I wasn't a big fan of it yeah not so much I, I, I have it but you know mm-hmm yeah, I just have it mainly just for my, the, my Shinobi collection. Yeah, it is. It is a cool game. 
I'm excited for the movie. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they make it. I mean, Scott Pilgrim vs. War was fantastic. So we'll see. I'm just interested in seeing what, um, just the last bit to finish up on that, mm -hmm. on what Shinobi they'll actually go with, though. What story? Yeah. Shadow Dancer is good. I like the Shadow Dancer. I would like to see them go with Shadow Dancer. Yeah, that would be awesome. Having him with his little dog, too. I want to see Godzilla, Spider-Man, Batman, all those characters in the movie. I want to see Shinobi fight Godzilla. Holy crap, that would be fantastic. Could you imagine just like Godzilla roaring, trying to like swipe off Shinobi? He's just running up, uh, running up uh, Godzilla, fucking slashing him <laughs> right in the neck. Kind of like Goku, just like kick him on the chest with a sword and just <laughs> comes out of the other way. Oh, what would be another badass scene is um, Godzilla destroys the building and Shinobi's jumping off the debris of one of, <laughs> of, of, of broken buildings just to get up to Godzilla's head. It would be cool to see that. Can you imagine if they actually like ask Disney and they ask Warner? Because Warner owns the rights to Godzilla in the United States, right? Yes, I think so. I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. But hey, that would be awesome. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, if we can see those characters. But yeah, that would be fantastic. Another Shinobi. And, well, not another Shinobi. Well, there no, might be a no. Shinobi movie in Japan, right? No, there's been a couple of Shinobi <clears throat> movies. Older ones. Yeah, and talk about movies. I mean, uh, did you all hear about um, Inhumans? Oh, Inhumans got, well, no cancer, but delay. Delayed indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't have a set date. Who knows what's going to happen with that? So it's in limbo. Yeah. Yep. I well, mean, they have so many movies coming out already. Yeah. I mean, I would love to see humans. Like, don't get me wrong. But I, I have enough with what we're getting right now. We're getting Doctor Strange. We're getting another Ant-Man. We're getting Ant-Man and the Wasp. What else are we getting? Uh, a new X-Men movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. The X-Men movie is coming out in, like, two or three weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And, then, and then another Wolverine movie, another Deadpool another movie. Another Deadpool movie. I can't wait for that one. Actually, I hope they do this Wolverine movie justice, mm -hmm. especially if it's going to be huge Jackman's last, you know, part as... Hey, Batman, what do you want on the next Wolverine movie? Justice. <laughs> <laughs> the side order of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah. What other movies are coming out soon? Uh, well, we have Captain America Civil War next week. We have the X-Men Apocalypse or X-Men yeah. Ivanus uh, <laughs> two weeks I, I don't know he, ever since everybody's been making fun of that they revised them pretty well alright guys so that wrap it up for this hopefully weekly <laughs> podcast hopefully we'll try to do it every week and stay tuned for more videos on my channel and to listen from us in the meantime <laughs> God, this has to be one of my favorite songs. You gotta watch the episode. Oh, yeah. Please go and watch Game of Thrones. It's watch worth it. it. It's watch The Lord of the Rings with sex. And deaths where you don't want them. <laughs> and everybody dies. <laughs> it's like a whole Krillin' universe. Everybody dies. <laughs> Nobody's sick. <laughs> All right, guys. In the meantime, this is Retro Evil. Thank you for listening to us. Robert. Bye, guys. Johnny. Peace. Rock the deeper, everybody, and um, winner, winner. <laughs> I can't take any more. But this is the best part. Right before King Joffrey gets poisoned. <laughs>